In this video of Oracle SQL, we will cover the transactions. Basically, whenever we write a basic SQL statement of DML, the transaction begins. Means, as soon as you will write the insert, update, delete or merge statement, at that particular part, the transaction will begin. You can keep on writing multiple DML statements in order to make a single transaction more logical, but at the end, we need to finish that transaction so that our data would be in a consistent form. So, whenever you write a DML, that will be a transaction. But as I said earlier, while working with the DDL, and also the, you will see that in DCL, that these commands, means that any command under DDL and DCL are auto-committed. Means you will not have to manage them but as far as the DML statements are concerned, you will have to manage them with the commit or rollback things. So, if you are working with the DML statements, at the end, there will be two options. Either you are satisfied with those changes and want to commit that or you want to roll them back. Whenever any user from a schema does a DML statement, at the end, he can see the affected data means if I'm writing the insert, that is what we have done so far, all right. If I've written the insert statement or delete statement or update statement, at the same time, I'm able to see the changes. But any user which is accessing my data from the external schema will not be getting the actual changes. So for what, for that, we actually have to save the data in a particular consistent form. Either we'll have to save all the changes or we'll have to roll back all the changes. If everything is going smooth, a writer a, means anyone who's writing the commands can use the commit or rollback command. Commit will save the changes while rollback will undo all the changes made. You can also end a transaction by issuing a DDL or DCL commands. As I just said, these are the auto-committed statements. So, uh, whenever you will end, uh, write or execute the DDL or DCL command, it will commit all the uncommitted DMLs as well. Or the command editor exits. Means, when you close that command prompt on which you are working, now it depends whether you are terminating the command, uh, command prompt normally or accidentally. Means, if you are properly exiting from the terminal, then it will be considered as the commit. Means everything is fine. A user deliberately terminated the command. So it is considered as the normal termination. So the commit thing will be there. But in case your command prompt is exited abnormally, means you directly click on the close button on uh, the cross and you exit from the command prompt. That will be considered as the system crash. So this is the, all the pending or uncommitted DML statements will be rolled back. Similarly, when the system is crashed, obviously uh, it is not a consistent way to terminate the uh, statements. So it will undo, means it will roll back all the uncommitted DMLs. Save point can be placed to in the transaction as a marker for rollback. Suppose there are n number of statements, like I want to create 10 statements, 10 DML statements for a transaction. But at a certain level of time, I notice like I want to roll these transaction up to last three statements. Means, for example, I, if I have executed three statements earlier, three statement afterwards, I want to roll back these three statements, which I executed later. But if I will do a rollback, all the uncommitted and pending transactions will be rolled back. So in order to add the marker, you can use the save point keyword so that at a particular level, you can choose like up to what level you want to roll it back. So let's see practically how to start working with these transactions using the commit and rollback. So for understanding transactions here, I will use two different terminals. This one is for system, means as you can see, the user who is logged to this particular system, is sys, uh, name is system, and here the user sys is getting connected. Now, here 
system user actually owns a table called department on which we have already worked so let's let's have a look quickly so here you can see like uh, departments is a table having four records and this system user also allowed this sys user to access this particular table so how this user will access that simply like uh, select asterisk from system dot departments alright so first of all we'll have to use the schema name since the departments table is not in his schema of sys so first of all schema name that is system that's username and then the table name so as you can see both the terminals can access the same table but now if this user that is system user will make any changes to that for example I'll insert a new record let's say insert into departments values and here I'll enter a couple of values like 50 and IT alright so you can see one row created if I'll do a select statement here so you can see the fifth record is getting shown now but if I will do the same thing here again you can see there is no record 50 why because the changes have been made but so far there is nothing like saving or discarding the changes whenever one user will do some changes he can see that uncommitted changes as well just to have an overview like okay how that particular record is looking like but since it is not permanently saved into the memory the other users cannot see that if I'll come here and will say commit in that case the transaction is completed and now another user can also see the department 50 alright so very similarly whatever the changes any user will make it has to make a commit or a rollback in order to save or discard the changes for example if I will delete I'll say delete from departments without passing any condition you can see five rows deleted so obviously if I'll uh, make a selection I'll get no rows selected but if I'll come here I can still see those five records because yes it's being deleted but not from the main memory so if I'll say rollback so even he can see all the data and sys can obviously see the data all right if you will not write this commit and rollback in order to make the complete save or discard you can also choose like uh, for example if I'll say let's insert a new record insert into departments values here let's add a new technical writer all right so you see one row got added so obviously I will not be able to see it here but if this particular user will terminate his session properly properly means I will say disk means I am getting disconnected all right so when you disconnect it normally that record will get committed and then your, your session will be ended so as you can see here as I said disconnect I can see the data right here because that will make it committed similarly let's uh, connect again connect system here's the password alright so now I'm connected let's clear the screen first alright and now what I'll do I'll say delete from departments alright so it this command deleted six records but now I'm just closing this window abnormally alright when I close this window that means the system got crashed and I could not able to uh, terminate my session properly so in that particular case the command is rolled back and you can see this sys user can still make a request for those six records but if I'll reconnect here using SQL plus system and the password and now if I'll again make a selection for that particular data that is select asterisk from uh, departments 
again i can see those six records because though i deleted i didn't say commit or rollback but my session was terminated abnormally and just because of that you can see like the transaction got rolled back similarly you can also fire any dml sorry any ddl or dcl command in order to make the commit because whenever you will execute any ddl or dcl command it will be auto committed and it will also commit all the pending dml transactions now in order to split your complete transactions into smaller parts i can also go for the save point so let's clear the screen here and see how this works so first of all what i'll do is i'll update the record let's uh, read the record first uh, departments all right okay so here what i'll do is i'll say update set dpt name is equal to human resources where dpt id is equal to 20 all right there is some misspelling okay no issues uh, let's correct it update department so one rob updated similarly i'll update another one information technology where department id is 50 all right the size of column is uh, maybe uh, lesser okay so information tech all right so both the records have been updated all right so but obviously i haven't made any commit or rollback things i will create a save point here let's say save point and just give any save point name like updations all right so it will create one save point means any transaction which is executed before this save point will be protected by this save point if i will undo till this point it will not roll back the previous uh, transactions now let's do one thing like let's create and let's let's do some more operations here like insert into uh, departments values and again a couple of values like 70 and maybe any department like dpt1 all right so again i can go for the save point insertions all right so now i have a couple of uh, save points if i'll do the selection right now from department so what i'll see is i'll see the updated records and one inserted record that is dpt1 now let's do one thing let's say roll back to insertions all right so it will say rollback complete and if i'll select it again you can see this 70 and dpt1 is still there why because after insertion save point i have not done any dml operation this is the place where i have created this save point but after that i have not executed anything but if i'll come here again and will say uh, rollback to updations all right and now when i'll see here you can see the 70 record is not here anymore why because it was done after the save point updations and whenever i will roll it back to any particular save point any transaction after any uncommitted transaction after that save point would be removed it would be rolled back but if i'll come here and will make a selection you can see hr and it are still coming in the shot while here i have done the updations that means like obviously the transactions were rolled back but the uncommitted transactions are still uncommitted they have not been committed so what i'll do is i'll say a commit and now when i'll request here you can see the updated data so this is how you can use the save points in order to do the partial rollback in your transaction but this save point thing will not be suitable for your commit as the commit will commit all the due and all the pending transactions